Bet. Bet. What's good, YouTube family? It's your boy Measy Two Live back with another podcast, Ethics and Games, the most unprofessional podcast in the world. <laughs> Today, I'm boy Sam. I'm boy Chris. What? <laughs> What's good? So yeah. I don't think how, how, how you feeling? Pretty good. How about you? What you been up to? Good. Same old, same old. Working, mm. chilling. Cool. Cool. Nice. Good. Yeah. I got a. Um, who, who, who is this guy? Me and two high school together. So, me and you used to go to high school together. I left the school by yeah. choice. And then I went to another school. And it turns out y'all two know each other. You're like, hey, my boy Chris goes to that school. Oh. That's how I know him. Oh, I didn't know that, actually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's funny. It's yeah. been a long time, so I've forgotten about yeah. it. Oh, that's <laughs> funny. Yeah, I didn't know that. I know him and Charles both went there. Sure. Because mm-hmm. I know we've all hung out. We played basketball yeah. one time. Mm-hmm. Um, and we listened to Kendrick at his crib one day. Yes. Uh, and then you did, like, the best, like, ten-minute stand-up I've ever that, heard. dude. Oh, and then you shit. just, like, left the room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then you never came back. I think I think it was better than it was to y'all on acid. We, yeah, we had been driven and stuff, and so the funny part about was it that? was the fact, yeah, no, we, we'd been driven that day, and then I just remember, like, Malachi was on a roll, though. He kept <laughs> yeah, telling dude, you were, these jokes in succession, because yeah. I had, no, like, tripping or not, like, I, I was laughing my ass off. I don't know what you were talking about, I think you were talking about, like, piping some bitch or something, it's, like, <laughs> the way you described it, and, like, the kind of motions and descriptions and stuff was funny as shit, <laughs> and then, like, immediately after you got done talking about it for, like, ten minutes straight and stuff, you were just kind of like, all right, yeah, I'll catch y'all later. And then just dipped. Yeah, because yeah, I know... You were just kind of like, dude, what the fuck? Because <laughs> I know Sam was spending the night. I'm like, well, I'm not spending the night. I gotta go. Yeah, yeah. just, like, dipped. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I thought he was, like, half-joking, and then he just never came back. <laughs> he just <laughs> never came back. I'm like, <laughs> okay. okay. Come back ten minutes later, I'm still here. <laughs> no, it's just it's like, all right, dude, not for real, though. It literally felt like, all right, that's my time, y'all. And then, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I felt like I paid, and he just left, <laughs> and then I go... Encore. Yeah. Which that's what cracked me up about it. I was just like, damn, that's funny as hell. Yeah, but like, honestly, from high school, all I really talked to is you, John, and there's one dude named Tuki. I still talk to him on occasion. Oh, uh-huh, for real? Yeah, but besides that, y'all only people who really talked to <laughs> my high school. Yeah. And then when I first started YouTube, Sam mm-hmm. contacted me for like questions and stuff like that. So he mm-hmm. helped me out with the camera and reaction videos and stuff like that. And then I know you stream. So mm-hmm. I was thinking about streaming eventually. I don't have mm-hmm. the time frame though right now. It's it's fun. It's what's your name? Oh yeah, yeah on stream. Yeah, Ch- oh. chat yourself out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I haven't done it much lately, but I mean, yeah, eventually I do. Kind of plan on the, kind of the idea that I have right now, which my name on Twitch is Chris Kringles, uh, Chris with no H. Chris Kringles. Uh, and essentially, the only thing about streaming that I guess is tougher is you. The camera is on you the entirety of your yes, streaming, yes, and you have to just be the entertainment. Yes. And so yeah, I think that's the, the part. The yeah. entertainment yeah. part yeah. is yeah. not the hard part per se for me. I feel like I don't know. I feel like things kind of naturally flow for me when I'm like kind of doing my own thing, especially in my well, own space. You're in your own space. You're in the mm-hmm. zone, and you're able to do what you want when you want. But you the have your little problem <laughs> that I have found is that one, it depends on the audience. What audience are you trying to go for? Who is watching at the moment? Because it's like, you know, if you're playing games and you're doing like the whole YouTuber persona, like, what's up, guys? We're doing a Let's Play thing here. And then some of your homies hop in the stream and then you're like, oh, what's up, guys? Like, you know, the switch ups of like how you are, I guess, in certain groups and stuff. It's like, are you going to act a certain way all the time or are you going to act a certain way in front of certain audiences and stuff like that? And then not only that, but it depends on what game you're playing. Because my thing is like Overwatch, Gundam, and then Valorant and stuff. I'm really fucking good at those games, but when I get. Competitive, competitive. I get yeah. intense. I get mad as shit. Uh, yeah. I'm shouting calm. Yeah. And so typically, I'm like, "What's up, guys? How's it going? Like, we're playing this game and stuff like that." And I'm just like making casual, fun conversation, and then I'm playing Gundam, and I'm like, "You motherfuckers, better get on this front yeah. line, oh otherwise I will fucking rip your head." <laughs> like, shit, I get yeah. intense, yeah, like crazy intense. A lot of people. And so do. my thing is, I realize that I don't like streaming when I'm crazy intense oh, and stuff. Okay. Which who knows? Maybe some people might like that. Well, stuff, that's what I would think, like engagement <clears throat> and stuff. But I, mean, I just it don't want what you want to be portrayed as. Not only that, but it's also, yeah, it's also just like frustration wise. After all, I'm like, all right, fuck this shit. Turn off stream and stuff, which I've done several <laughs> times. I've just been like, you know what? Fuck this shit. I'm getting way too mad. Like, <laughs> that's funny. I don't want to be like that. And then somebody hops in, like, "What's up, dude?" And I'm just kind of like, "Fuck off. I'm doing something. Uh, yeah, like, I'm yeah, trying yeah. to win this yeah, game." Yeah, yeah. Which I've never said that to anybody that's joined. Like. <clears throat> There's like two people that constantly check it on my stream and stuff. I forget their usernames at the moment. But, but are they just trolls? My stream, no, no, no. no. The, these okay. dudes love my shit for some reason. Oh, cool. And so they hop in yeah. and they'll always say what's up. They're yeah. always engaging, always yeah. driving comments and stuff That's like fun. that. That's cool. Uh, and super cool viewers. 
And so it's like stuff like that is really like intriguing whenever you get to meet those people just because like once you get your regulars and the people that tune in because like there's tons of really big fucking streamers. There's like XQC, there's Kai Sinat, there's like all those other people. Yeah. And the fact that they could be watching all these other motherfuckers but they just chose this random person playing this one game like that's tight. I'm no, like no. Right, damn the fact that y'all continuously come back to watch my shit is fun. No, but, no. That's the question. So how do you because does Twitch... I know they have their own algorithm, but it's not like YouTube where it recommends newer people. Mm -hmm. Like, let's say Sam started a YouTube channel <laughs> talking about mm -hmm. um, refurbishing furniture, right? And the Titans. So if if he has a good um, thumbnail and caption and it's good information, YouTube will show it to more people. If people watch the video all the way through, mm -hmm. yeah. how do you grow Clickbait. on? Yeah, how do you grow on Twitch as a new person Twitch? with no following? I would say it comes a little bit down to self-marketing and what you're playing, because yeah. if you're playing Valorant or Call of Duty, there's like thousands of people streaming that, there's yeah, like thousands of people playing it. yeah, so it's like, <laughs> your stream is going to be shown somewhere in a list of these thousands, so it's like, if you're one of the bigger draws, then you're going to be yeah, on the front page, yeah, yeah. but like, if you're not, then you're going to be someone random and stuff, so like, honestly... I don't even know how the it's fuck people find certain streams of mine. Like I, I was like, I what, think if, a good game selection. If it's, it's more depending on what games, you're doing, yeah. yeah. Like if somebody's looking for a particular game, then yeah. Because one time I was playing this game called Eldritch, yeah. uh, which is kind of like a dungeon crawler, like exploration type game. And you know, I've never really heard anybody play it. When I found the game, I was like, whoa! I was like, this game looks sad. I've never heard anybody talk about it. Cool. So I was playing it. Some random dude from Russia started watching my thing, nice. and he like subscribed to my channel, and I was just kind of like. How did you find my stream? Yeah, and he was just kind of like, you're the only one playing it. And I was like, okay, <laughs> dope, cool. I was like, okay, so that's an interesting way of how to do that. But like, yeah, self-marketing too. Just like on social media, like if you're engaging with people and stuff, which I made my own separate Twitter for my stream, but I also found it annoying because like, it was me following other streamers yeah. and then them following me and then doing like shout outs for back and forth, like shout out, which weird. I thought it was really weird. I didn't like that approach to it. I felt it's much more natural if you just do your thing, you're just tweeting naturally sure. and stuff. And then it's like, hey, I also have a, a, a Twitch type deal. So it's like, oh, this dude's funny on the internet and he has content where I can go watch yes. him be funny and like live and stuff. Yeah. So things like that, I would say. But I feel like the social yeah. game is a really big part of it. Like just get that one good reel and just get other people to share it. TikTok helps a lot. Yeah. TikTok is like, yeah. I think I've had... I don't know, maybe one or two clips that have gone like slightly viral. Nothing huge and stuff, just because like, I don't know. Depends on what you're doing or like how funny the clip is and things like that. But TikTok has the opportunity to kind of make your shit blow up a lot. Yeah. Which, that's why that's a really good tool to use. Yeah. I always go like, check my clips from stream or I record something from my stream and then I save that, go back, edit it, put it on TikTok, try and do the stuff on there to try to, you know, promote it, see what happens with that. Yeah.